Hey, welcome to the channel. This is gonna be a quick video of a last fit air compressor. And I'm gonna show you basically the features of it, um, what I think about it. I'm gonna show you actually using it and then I'm gonna show you comparing it to a traditional air compressor. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like, and enjoy this video. So if you were refilling your things, you would typically use one of these at your house. This is an air compressor, plugs into the wall, uh, not battery operated. Got a gauge, and I, I've added this, but then, you know, you, it's got gauges here for the tank. And that's your quickest way to kind of tighten up your air pressers. But this is really small, and the nice thing about it is, is you can actually use it in an emergency. All right, so this is the last fit air compressor, the box that it comes in. Pretty small. It comes with a manual comes with this nice case. All right, open this thing up. You know, this can store down here in your car or over there. This along with a patch kit would um, be very nice. This is kind of the way it is. It looks like they've done all their CE change, um, CE and all this other stuff here. Battery capacity is 28 watt hours. Um, I don't know how much is in it currently. It's going to come with this stuff here. So you've got a USB-C to USB. You've got a 12 volt here. Which I believe there's a 12 volt in the back here somewhere. And you've got a couple of um, cables here. I'm not sure why one's red and one's black. They look... The other thing you have here, you've got USB-B and USB-C, or USB-A, I guess it is, actually. Got another for your 12-volt. Uh, your air gauge. Looks like a flashlight there. Okay, so you push and hold. That's on now. Looks like it comes shipped right at 50% battery. gonna look down here so what you'll see here is the tire size cold tire pressure is gonna be 42 psi not hot it's cold so that's what we want it for and then of course when we look at it uh, you can easily scroll here to get to it you can see right now it's kind of warmed up it's 92 degrees outside this morning when I left it was 70 degrees and all these are around 35 psi cold so um, that's an hour ago, so they're actually probably a little higher than that now. What these really should, I should try to set these to, these are 3 PSI above what they were in the morning. So probably what I want to set these to is around, say, 44, so that when it's cooler, it drops down to 42, and when you're driving, it's around 44. So we're going to probably get all these up to 44. I'm going to do one tire and see how long it takes to do that. And then I'll do, get my air compressor out and show the difference. But again, I want to stress that these this is more of a in-your-car emergency kit. It's not for, you know, um, doing all your tires, but it can be used for that. So we're going to set this. We want 44 PSI. All right, so we're set to 44 it does have a flashlight, so you can easily find your um, thing. If you're out in the dark, you can kind of use that to kind of that to kind of search for your tire valve. And turn that back off. It also, also looks like it has a uh, SOS, so if you need to use that, it also comes with this little bag of pump parts. So it looks like it's got, um, for a bicycle here, uh, for a pool float, something like that, air mattress, and then also for a, uh, like a basketball or something here. Okay, so we're going to put this in there. I don't think it matters, really. I'm just going to put that in and rotate it until it clicks. It's clicked in. Okay, now 
I'm going to take your thing off here. You can also look at the max PSI, so you don't want it to go over 51. So, it's also kind of important for the tire. Now, this is the Schrader valve, so you're just going to screw this on. Hear it? Alright, there we go. And now what you'll see is it's telling me what pressure it is, which is the exact same thing as I saw in the car, roughly. About 2 degrees. So, now, um... So what I did is I pressed the power button here to make that start pumping. Now your pump is moving up really quickly. Wow. So we just cut that on. We'll speed up the time. So it does not automatically shut off. So now see it's saying 42. 44. And I shut it off. And it seems to be lowering back down to 43 there. And then we're going to untangle it. Okay, so what we just saw was 43. And what's our gauge say? 44. So we went to 44 and then it dropped down to 43 when it shut off. But it looks like it's truly... I don't know if you can see that. It's not coming in good. There we go, there we go. So yeah, 44. So it's right on the money. Okay, we're going to do the right front. We're going to... Screw this into the valve. All right, tighten it down. That's our current pressure, and we're gonna cut it back on. And so it had two batter, two bars when we first started, and now it's got two bars still. So it's charging really quick or filling really quickly. So we'll let that just sit. So as you saw, the uh, charger or the uh, pump is now getting down. Um, low on battery so you get this it doesn't come with a brick so you'd plug this into a brick that would then go into an outlet a 110 outlet plug this into it and that would charge it if you have a 110 in your car you can actually just use that or if you don't have a 110 which Tesla's do not currently um, they have 12 volt so what you can do is it's got this really long cable and you can plug this into your cigarette lighter or on the uh, Model Y, there's actually one back here in the back that you can plug it into. <clears throat> like so. Alright, we pulled that off. Check, check the pressure. And we are at, don't know if you can see that, we're at 44. Okay, so now that we got this plugged into our 12 volt, got this long cable, and that's going to actually plug in we look here, right into this spot. I'm not sure that means it's charging or not. Um, I think it does, though. It's not showing this charge level. We'll also try it on the 110. I'm not promising that this outlet works. I've never tested it, so we'll see how that goes. Come over here. Uh, one thing to note, and I'll point this out a little bit, but we'll pull this off. We're gonna screw this in again. Try to only touch the plastic on this because it does get hot after you've used it a couple of times. Compressed air does heat up a lot. So here we go, 35. <laughs> that off. We're just going to unthread. Check this pressure. And we're at 44. 
the next thing I want to show you is a comparison since we did the time for this one. So this is a regular air compressor. It's got a, a two pound tank on it. And so um, we're going to use this to fill the front. You set the tank above what you're going for. I just do like 120 PSI. And um, you have to use this, although there is a gauge on the front of this gun. And this is really the best way to do this. Just to show the difference in the speed of a actual air compressor, I've got this attachment. All right, so it's going to show us. It's showing 40. We know that's a little bit wrong. Just adding air to it, and then you cut it off. That's showing 45. That's how quick that was. 44. Okay, so that was how quick that was. It takes no time with the air compressor compressor, but this here has to run off of a power cable hooked up to the door. And that's also very heavy to move around. So what's nice about this is this thing fits in its case. It goes in your car and it, it, it works really well. I'm going to give you some final impressions of this and the kit in general here in a second. So the instructions do say be very careful when removing the hose. You just quarter turn it, pull it out, do not touch this. So again, the, um, the last fit air compressor, you saw it with a 12 volt, comes with this cable here. What you're going to do is you can use any brick here. This is uh, an Apple brick. That has a USB-A on it. And basically what you do is you plug it in like so. You're going to plug that into a 110. Okay. USB-C. Then goes into USB-C. And now you can see that it's charging. And that's how you would charge. As you can see, this all fits in there nicely. And then that just zips up and you can store this up. So we're actually going to store this right down here. Fits down there just fine. Okay, so in conclusion of the last fit air compressor, this is um, really nice. It's heavy duty. It feels sturdy. I personally like the red and the black. Um, again, last fit, they, uh, they did send this to me to review. Um, I've got a lot of other last fit products as well. So far, I've been extremely happy with the company, just entirely. I like the quality of the products. That's why I wasn't scared of this at all. Um, I've bought other um, air compressors like this, emergency air compressors. Um, what we found out today is this can be used regularly. You don't, and not just an emergency. It, it, it fills the tires up really quickly. So you can actually use this for your winter time top offs on your tires when you know it starts getting colder and the tire pressure start lowering you have to re you have to increase your air pressure in your car so this is a good way to do that um because it does seem to work really well it was very accurate the uh the air pressure reading on the screen here was very accurate i was in checking it with an air gauge and it was dead on every time so i like that it was um another thing to note here is that um i've had other battery operated air compressors before kind of like the gun ones that you would see you can see these on amazon and stuff a lot um the problem with those that i've had is the fact that um while the air pressure gauge in the in the air pressure uh, in the gun would be accurate when you would start using it as it would heat up the heat in the um, around the nozzle would get really hot, and then that would affect the actual air pressure gauge. So as you were filling up, say, your third tire or your second tire, if the battery lasted that long, is that um, it would actually say that you're at, say, 44 PSI, but then you would check it with a gauge, and you would only be at 39. Because it was reading hotter air at the, ga at the pressure gauge um, on the compressor. So um, this one did not have that issue. This one, we, we filled three tires up with this thing. It's uh, 97 degrees outside right now. And 
this thing had an accurate reading on all three tires. Um, the only reason we didn't do a fourth one, as you saw, was we, we used a regular air compressor, a heavy duty that you had to plug into the wall, just to show the difference in the amount of time it takes to fill the airs with those. You know, that's got a big tank that's pressurized to 100 uh, PSI, so it did not take long. This one is, is pumping the air into the tire at all times. It doesn't have a tank. So it does take a little bit longer, but this worked a lot faster than other units that I've used in the past. And um, the nozzles, the air hoses, um, some perks that I thought of these was the fact, you know, this goes into the, the unit itself. There's two of these that come with it. They've got O-rings on them. So if one goes bad, you can use the other one. But they actually thread this on. When other ones that you'll find on um, on Amazon and stuff, they have the little lever, and that lever doesn't always tighten it down good. So the fact that this threads on is really nice because it make it ensures that it gets a really good seal down to that O-ring in there. And so all the air that you're pumping with this goes straight into the tire, and you're sure of that. Um, so this is a, a a very nice design. There's lots of ways to charge it. Uh, 12 volt. Uh, USB-C and then USB-A as well um, and then the hose fits here it's got a light so that you could easily um, see if you're in, on the side of the road at nighttime and it also blinks as SOS so um, to me this is the best mobile air compressor that I've ever used and I've used I'd say I've used four different kinds that's my kind of quick review and impressions of this air compressor from last fit I would highly recommend it. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on real quick while I'm editing. You can get it on only on Amazon. It's not offered on their website currently. Uh, you use the link down in the description, or you can go there anyway, and then you'll use the code provided germ EV 30 in order to get 30% off of that. It comes out to being around $68 on prime. So really cheap actually. Um, when it's normally $98, you're getting a big discount here. So take a, take a look at it. It's a new product from them. They've also got other products such as um, floor mats, which are true all-weather mats. Um, there's also uh, carpet covers. They call kick panels that go into the side. I've got some videos. I'll, I'll leave links in the description that shows those. I'm also going to be doing a video on all of my Last Fit products uh, pretty, pretty soon. And um, if you like the video, leave a like. If you like if you... Um, Subscribe for it to the video if you want to see when I come out with new content. I got a lot of videos coming up. Um, yeah, so enjoy it. I don't actually get uh, paid by these guys or anything like that for these. Um, I just, they, they do send me the product and I get to try it. And so far, I've been extremely happy with this. So we'll see you on the next one and see you later.